desperately needs some wood this time. Let's get a little bit of smoke at their entrance here. Well, I actually love storms. Hail starts, snow starts. Hi guys. Something a little bit uh, different for the day. Oh my goodness, it just started snowing. What the heck? We're gonna do a little bit of beekeeping. You know, basically get the hives wrapped and do their last uh, mite treatment for the season. Gonna spend the night up here and uh, get some getaway time. I'm uh, heading up to the cabin today. I desperately need some woods time. I was doing a meditation the other night just to try and get to sleep. And you were supposed to imagine the place that you've been, the, the, the most relaxed place you've ever been. And of course that caused anxiety because I'm thinking, oh my god, what, what is the most relaxed place? I'm going through all these, you know, trying to find the most relaxed place. <laughs> here. This is why I come up here. Because it brings me peace of mind. Now let's go. Uh, first thing to do is get the fire going. Hey buddy. So I've actually already been working on that. This little doggy, this beautiful doggy, has been extremely sick for the last couple of weeks. She didn't uh, get Lyme disease. Uh, she's protected against that, but she did get some other um, disease that was uh, caused by a tick bite. So I'm so, so happy that she's, uh, she's feeling better. Yeah, winter is coming and uh, my neighbor is uh, gonna be plowing the uh, lane for me this year in exchange for uh, mostly maple syrup and honey. I uh, ran the uh, the lawnmower, the lawn tractor up and down the lane a number of times yesterday to get the leaves off of it. So I actually love storms. I love when it rains. I love when it hails. I love when there's great big events like this big because we haven't really had much uh, snow this year i actually left my uh, sunglasses over at uh, my neighbor's place uh, yesterday so we're gonna head over there and pick them up not that there's that much sun today he's just chomping at the bit hey buddy you're looking pretty good for a sick girl hey eh? and uh let's go enjoy some of this <laughs> okay don't pull my arm off oh my god It's always uh, funny coming up to this end of the woods. It's not that far, but it's like I'm in the, I go from being in the deep, deep woods to being like right in the center of civilization. Not that there's that many people up here, but more than uh, more than I like. And just like that, the uh, sun is out again. Oh, I just see it disappearing behind a cloud, but oh, there it is again. It's like life. Big storm. It's dark. Hail starts. And snow starts. Or the rain starts. It stops. Things grow again. And the light comes back again. I guess maybe that's our, that's our eternal struggle. I sound like some kind of wannabe Buddhist therapist.
didn't film much uh, yesterday. I did uh, tend to the bees. I got their last uh, treatment done. They didn't like it. I got stung three times, just barely, though none of them. I didn't get too much venom in me. So you know, one in the cheek, uh, one in my wrist, and one in the uh, ankle. Okay, I'm gonna grab the suit today. Play with the bees. I've already done most of the colonies. I think I've got uh, three left. Come on, bud. It's a cool day. I'm running mostly singles. Um, I've got one uh, one double up above, and then this is also a double. And uh, this one here, I put a medium of honey. A medium honey box on top just to uh, help them out because they weren't uh, they didn't have enough uh, storage and I really didn't want to steal any uh, honey from the other hives colonies so uh, that's why this one is basically it's a single and a half we'll call it and just to be clear these uh, this is the last time I'm gonna be tending to these bees until the spring it's the very very last thing I'll be doing except for coming out and you know taking peeks on uh, at them during the winter Today is cooler. It's a little bit of sun, but I uh, I hope that they're further down in the box. No, well, still a few of them at the right at the top here. So get those guys out of the way. This is uh, a sugar water mix. It's mixed with. Um, Auxilic acid, which is their medicine for uh, mites. I'm going to give them 50 milliliters. We want to put them right where the bees are. Looks like they're mostly one, two, three, four, five, probably six frames of bees here. There's my 50 right there. Now you saw that I did go back and do a couple of these frames, uh, but that's uh, more than once, but that's just because that's where all the bees are concentrated. So that's it, we're out of here, ladies. I bid you adieu. I'm gonna do just a, another quick weight test. Very scientific. Yeah, and I've got a good, that's full of honey, so I'm not too uh, concerned at all. Now let's get some insulation on top here. You want to put your, uh, all these bags have a seam. You want to put that right in front of your hive. Oh, there's a wax moth. I don't like to see that, but hopefully the bees have dealt with it. Um, you put the seam at the, uh, at the front and that's because it, it lets the bees, uh, when it's really, really cold in the winter, it lets them crawl up and down the front of their colony inside the bag. It's in a little bit of extra room. So they can go out and do uh, cleansing, uh, Strolls, take uh, peas and poops when they need to. Okay, you're done, ladies. Have a good, good winter. Uh, the one last thing that I actually do. I'll show you here is I use uh, sticks pieces of wood just to uh, prop up underneath this um, makes sure that the bottom of the uh, wrap doesn't ever freeze to the front of the hives really really important to have uh, airflow so you want to have both the bottom entrance and the uh, top entrances free and clear for that airflow.
dogs out there wandering in the bush. That's why she's got a, a hunting vest on. It makes me feel good to do something for these ladies. They're, uh, it's kind of crazy. They're insects, but they kind of they mean a lot to me. And uh, I have a vested interest in them and their well-being, both on a, uh, you know, on a personal accomplishment scale and a, you know, a tiny financial scale um, and uh, emotionally, I guess, as well. And I'm probably feeling that more this year than any other year. It's my 13th year, lucky 13. And I uh, hope you ladies do uh, well. And uh, yeah, I hope that uh, all of us have a, have a better winter. <laughs> okay, I uh, may well sign off now, I'm not sure. Wow, look at that. Just as I'm leaving, full moon comes out. There was a big, big windstorm and ominous clouds this afternoon and this kind of uh, rain, snow, sleet <laughs> was coming down. And uh, this is how the day is ending. I will take the wind. This too shall pass.